Recording 67. You will hear a phone conversation between two people, Kathy and John. John is hoping to volunteer at a retirement home. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 10. Hello, Hillary Lodge Retirement Home, Cathy speaking. Hello, my name's John Shepherd. Could I ask if you're the manager of the home? That's right. Oh, good. Hello, Cathy. A friend of mine is a volunteer at Hillary Lodge and I'd like to help out too, if you need more people. I work part-time, so I have quite a lot of free time. We're always glad of more help, John. Shall I tell you about some of the activities that volunteers get involved in? Please. Well, on Monday evenings, we organise computer training. We've got six laptops and five or six residents come to the sessions regularly. They're all now fine at writing and sending emails, but our trainer has just moved away and we need two or three volunteers who can help the residents create documents. Just simple things, really. I'd certainly be interested in doing that. Great! Then, on Tuesday afternoons, we have an informal singing class, which most of the residents attend. We've got a keyboard and someone who plays, but if you'd like to join in the singing, you'd be very welcome. I work on Tuesdays at the moment, though that might change. I'll have to give it a miss for now, I'm afraid. OK. Then on Thursday mornings, we generally have a session in our garden. Several of our residents enjoy learning about flowers, where they grow best, how to look after them and so on. Is that something you're keen on? I'm no expert, but I enjoy gardening, so yes, I'd like to get involved. Do you have your own tools at the home? We've got a few, but not very many. I could bring some in with me when I come. Thank you very much. Uh, one very important thing for volunteers is that we hold a monthly meeting where they all get together with the staff. It's a chance to make sure we're working well together and that everyone knows how the residents are and what's going on in the home. Uh-huh. Now, obviously, we'd need to get to know you before you become one of our volunteers. Of course. Could you come in for an informal interview later this week, maybe? I'm busy the next couple of days, but would Saturday be possible? Certainly. Just drop in any time during the day. I won't be working then, so you'll see my assistant... Maraid. Sorry, how do you spell that? It's M A I R E A D. Maraid. Okay, got that. It's not a name I'm familiar with. Oh, it's an Irish name. She comes from Dublin. Right. And the road 
that Hillary Lodge is in is called Bridge Road, isn't it? That's right. Number 73. Fine. Oh, one other thing you might be interested in. We're holding a couple of open house days and still need a few volunteers if you're available. What are the dates? There's one on April the 9th and another on the 14th of May. They're both Saturdays and all day events. I can certainly manage May the 14th. I've got another commitment on April the 9th, though. That would be a great help. We're having several guest entertainers singers, a brass band, and so on. And we're expecting a lot of visitors. So, one possibility is to help look after the entertainers. Or you could spend an hour or so organising people as they arrive and then just be part of the team, making sure everything's going smoothly. Well, shall I show people where they can park? Lovely. Thank you. One reason for holding the open house days is to get publicity for Hillary Lodge locally. So you may find you have someone from a newspaper wanting to interview you. They'll want to find out from two or three people why they volunteer to help at the home. We're trying to get a TV station to come too, but they don't seem very interested. I don't mind being interviewed. Good. Well... If you come in for a chat, as we arranged, we'll take it from there. Thank you very much for calling. My pleasure. Goodbye. Bye. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2.